Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Santos Capitan Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, today what I'm going to do is show you how you are going to connect uh, water differential pressure switch to the um, IO module of your base controller. Okay. Now, what I have here is my base controller. This is 401. Okay. Then this 401 can handle 10 IO modules. Okay. Now, so this uh, uh, base controller right now will be having one IO module okay so this is a port 21A where again like my air differential pressure switch I connected it to the universal uh, input one just to show you how are you going to connect this differential pressure ship or water DPS to the IO module of your DDC okay now actually this is an FD113 okay now as you can see here like uh, every differential pressure switch it has two probes one is the high pressure and the other one is the low pressure okay now here in this clear uh, small window you can see the okay i can remove this cover okay now it's very simple the internal of this now as you can see here this one is the bar uh, reading and the psi reading okay so right now it is set to at around uh, 5 psi okay or i shall say so it starts with three so this is we can say this is 10 so it is more than 5 psi we can say it is maybe 7 psi okay so this is the the differential pressure range is uh, 0.2 to 4 bars then 3 to 60 psi okay now you can adjust the differential pressure setting through this uh, knob okay so there is a small ring inside where you can adjust it use a small screwdriver to adjust it turning it clockwise will adjust the uh, differential pressure set point uh, higher then turning it counterclockwise will set it to uh, less differential pressure set point okay so this is how you are going to set this uh, pressure setting okay now you can test it also by pressing this one if you hear this if you press this one you are testing it then you can check the continuity to the uh, terminal again there are three terminals so center is the normally uh, this is the common and another one is uh, normally open contact okay so just a minute okay so uh, there are only three terminals here one is common and one of the contacts is normally open and the other one is normally close contact so basically when I'm using this for water flow probing, I'm using the normally open contact. Now, how are you going to install this device in the pump? Now, as you can see here, just like I said, there are two probes, high pressure side and low pressure side. Now, you will always be needing some uh, copper tubing and some fittings to install this differential pressure switch. Now, you have to verify uh, the PN number or the pressure number of the system or the pipes that you are going to install this. If PN16 is the pressure number in the pipes that you are going to install this one or the pressure in the uh, system is around uh, 16 bars, then you need to buy the fittings and the copper tubing that can withstand PN16 rating, okay? So you need special fittings for this. So you need a brass copper or a copper fittings to be able to install this the provision or the copper tubing of the differential pressure switch. Now, in the pumps, there is already a provision where you will connect this differential pressure switch, okay? So all you need to do is provide the uh, copper tubing and the fittings okay now uh, I have here a small drawing uh, let me show you okay now this is my uh, drawing okay let's say this is the pump 
okay you have to look for the flow direction of the flow now in the pumps you can always see a pressure gauge installed in the discharge side and the uh, pressure gauge at the suction side now so you will install your dps water dps okay so the negative side will be in the suction side okay this is the copper tubing and some fittings then the positive side will be connected in the discharge side now how are you going to set the differential pressure set point now you have to see when the pump is not running okay so you need to see the pressure reading okay so when you run when you run the pump then you will see the difference uh, between the discharge and the suction pressure then you can use that difference to set this differential pressure switch okay so you can adjust that uh, pressure re uh, set point by adjusting the uh, knob here like this clockwise is to raise the pressure uh, set point differential pressure set point and counterclockwise is to uh, lessen the differential pressure setting okay so this is how are you going to wire and do the uh, connection by using a copper tubing and some fittings then your electrical connection will be like this normally open to one of the universal inputs okay so that's it for today i guess uh, you have learned something from this uh, simple video tutorial and this is santos again santos capitan jr again saying god bless us all and bye for now